If thoughts aren't local, where do they transmit from? And my answer is, most civilized people's self-originating thoughts are vulgar, stupid, incomplete portions of their inner dialogues and arise primarily from the reactive id. On top of this, the imagination may wander non-locally and explore astral realms beyond the immediate conditions of their own situation. This experience is what Einstein referred to as a mental laboratory, wherein he could perform any hypothetical experiment he could dream up. It was also from this realm of the subconscious that Auguste Kekulier pulled forth the ring structure of benzene from a dream about an Ouroboros, a snake eating its own tail. Beyond these limiting distractions that keep one bogged down in the quagmire of immediate material reality, and the unlimited realm of inspiration above and beyond even this, there yet exists the hyperspace field of zero-point energy or the so-called luminiferous ether that may be explored by mind expansion. The local mind and this non-local energy field are of the same essential substance. Insofar as the human brain can process information faster than any extant quantum computer, it remains capable of receiving pulsed signals of information via this subquantum field. Distinguishing between psychic pollution or the noise of all useless thoughts in this local ether and such actual pulsed signals of information is the first step toward tracking down the source for both of them. Most psychic noise comes from people's own brains, while most psychic signal comes from people's hopes for a better possible future. <laughs>